Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Java program to check whether a given number is palindrome or not. Now, if you want to check whether given number is palindrome or not, first we need to find out the reverse of the number. If the reverse is exactly equivalent to the original number, the number is palindrome, otherwise it is not. So first uh, what we do is uh, we will initialize uh, reverse is equal to 0 and then we will read a number from the user. Let us say that uh, the number is 123 in this case. So we need to find out the reverse of 123. If it is equivalent to number, the meaning is it's a palindrome, otherwise it is not a palindrome. To find the reverse, uh, we will use this particular logic. These three steps are repeated again and again unless and until this number becomes 0 here. So first we will calculate the remainder of this particular number uh, with respect to 10 that is uh, 10 mod 10 here. So we will get 3 in this case. So once we get this particular 3, we will add this remainder to reverse multiplied by 10. Previously reverse was 0. So 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. Reverse is equal to 3 in the first iteration. And then uh, num divided by 10 that is 123 divided by 10 is equal to 12 here. So these are the three numbers in the first iteration. We will go back. We will calculate the remainder again. That is 12 mod 10. We will get 2 here. Reverse multiplied by 10. That is reverse is 3. Multiplied by 10. That is 30. Plus remainder. That is 2. It will be equal to 32 here. And then uh, num divided by 10. That is 12 divided by 10 is equal to 1. So these are the three numbers we got in the second iteration. We will go back and then we will calculate the remainder again. That is 1 uh, mod 10 is equal to 1. Reverse multiplied by 10, that is 32 multiplied by 10 is 320. Plus remainder, that is 1, which is equal to 321. Num divided by 10, that is 1 divided by 10 is equal to 0 in this case. Once the number will become 0, we will come out of this particular loop here. Now we got our reverse, that is 123. Uh, reverse of 123 is 321 in this case. Now we will check this whether uh, the reverse is equivalent to the number. In this case, uh, 321 is not equivalent to 123. Hence, it is not a palindrome here. If it is uh, 121, we would have got uh, the reverse is also 121. The meaning is uh, 121 is a palindrome in that case. So now we will try to write a code for this thing. We will take some local variables. Let us say that our EV is equal to 0. We need a number. We need one uh, a local variable called as org to store the original number because this number will become zero at the end of this particular iteration and then i think we need one more uh, variable called as rev in this case rem in this case to store the remainder now we will create an object of uh, scanner class so that we can read uh, something or some number from the user that is scanner in is equal to new scanner we will pass one parameter to this one that is scanner dot uh, in because uh, we have not included ut library i will get an error here so we will click on this one and then we will click on this uh, import two times we will get this particular java dot util dot scanner here now we will give a, a very simple message to the user system dot out dot print ln that is enter a number so the user will enter a number now we need to store that number into a variable so i will use num is equal to uh, in that is uh, scanner class object next int now i will get that particular number into num here now we need to check uh, or we need to find out the reverse of this particular number so we will use this particular logic so we repeat this particular three steps unless and until number becomes zero. So we will take a loop here that is while num is greater than zero, what we need to do? We need to calculate remainder in every iteration that is remainder is equal to num mod 10. That's the first thing we need to do. REV is equal to REV multiplied by 10 plus REM we have to do in the second step. Third step is num is equal to num divided by 10. That is the third thing. Now we have to repeat these three things again and again unless and until number is uh, greater than zero. Once number becomes uh, zero, it will come out of this particular loop. Once it comes out of this particular loop, uh, we got our reverse in REV. Now we need to check whether this REV is equivalent to original number or not. If it is equivalent to original number, it is a 
palindrome otherwise it is not a palindrome so before that uh, i think i forgot to store that particular original number into num uh, if i don't store it the number has become zero here already so we cannot cross check it so that's the reason i will store it into a temporary variable called as org now uh, we will check this one whether org that is the original number is equivalent to rev or not if it is so uh, we will print system dot out dot println uh, the what i will add plus org plus within bracket is a palindrome i will print it is a palindrome that is uh, the whatever the number we have read is a palindrome else what we have to do we have to print it is not a palindrome so i will take the same system dot out dot print in here i will print is not a palindrome in this case that is if org is not equal to rev i think we have to take double equal to here now this is a very simple program we have to write uh, to check whether the given number is palindrome or not i hope uh, this logic is clear and the same thing is implemented over here also now we will try to execute and see whether it is working fine or not so i will right click and then select run as java application i will click ok now we have to enter a number because it will ask you to enter a number uh, the user has to enter a number here i will enter 123 as usual the reverse of 123 is 321 and it is not a palindrome definitely 321 is not equal to 123 here we'll run one more time we will see whether it is working fine for a palindrome number or not uh, let us say that 1221 uh, the reverse of this one is again 1221 only so 1221 is a palindrome in this case this is a very simple program uh, i have written to check whether a given number is palindrome or not i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching